to that new video of an innocent woman shot while waiting for a bus in Brooklyn. The chaotic moments captured by a security camera last night in East Flatbush. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim live at the scene with the latest on the search for the shooter. Stefan? What's well, the glass from the bus stop shelter is shattered all over the sidewalk after a bullet pierced through it. This street, like it is now, was crowded when gunfire rang out. One of those bullets struck an innocent bystander. But where did those bullets come from? And who was the gunman shooting at? It was a chaotic scene last night in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, with innocent bystanders frantically sprinting for cover after gunfire exploded at the intersection of Church and Utica Avenues around 7.15 last night. It's shocking. It's really shocking. Watch the man in the green shirt look across the street. From inside a smoke shop, you can see a burst of fire through the doorway. Everyone inside runs out, except for this man in the black hoodie. He calmly exits the store. Across the street by the bus stop, a woman is struck in her leg while she was waiting for the bus. Then another man, the apparent intended target, gets down on one knee and returns fire. The initial gunman appears to then follow his target to the corner, then turns and flees. Bad. You surprised by this? Yes. What about shock? Shock. Shock. You concerned about your safety? Of course. That volley of gunfire sent people scrambling on both sides of the street and customers pouring out of the smoke shop. Cops say the 39-year-old innocent bystander was rushed to Kings County Hospital. She is expected to be okay. Now, police have made no arrest. They did recover ballistics on scene. And the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in East Flatbush, Stefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside Joe head. With another one. Flatbush, Brooklyn. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Innocent lady shot. Waiting for her bus. Now, like I said, these, these, these kids now are shooting from half football fields away from each other into a crowd with people standing at the bus stop waiting to take the bus. Like I said, man, if you got problems with somebody, hopefully you could talk it out. Maybe you could put on the gloves, settle your differences, shake hands, and walk away like men. But not these days. This guy's across the street in a busy, he's in the smoke shop. He sees somebody he don't like or I guess got, he's at war with. Who knows what the shit's going on? Could be something stupid as you talking to my girlfriend. So... He shoots through a door at the smoke shop with people at the bus stop across the street, people walking by, you know, a daily night in Brooklyn. So he starts opening fire through the door of a smoke shop with people inside the smoke shop with him. So you see all these folks running this way. You see the lady fall. You see the other kid who he's shooting at, get on one knee, shoot back, and then run off. Now, let me say this, man. And this comes from, from, um, from growing up in New York. When people were at war with other people, you wasn't hearing kids getting shot. People were running up on whoever they had problems with and killing them or shooting them or doing whatever they had to do but they wasn't shooting while the guy was standing with his kids. They wasn't shooting while the guy was at line at a supermarket. They was waiting until the guy was by himself killing him or with one of his friends that was with him doing whatever bad shit these motherfuckers were doing. But you wasn't shooting at a bus stop filled with people. My man, that is cowardly acts. I keep saying it. This is why these kids are so pussy, because if you really had problems, you would have waited till that guy was by himself, catch him by himself. I don't condone violence. I don't want nobody to go shoot nobody or kill nobody. But if they're going to do it anyway, don't let innocent people get hit. If you two dummies want to kill each other, then go for it. But don't have some 
lady waiting on the bus coming from the supermarket or coming from the from wherever trying to get home get shot. Lucky that there was no kids there to get killed and shot cuz that I mean this is a fucking bus stop and all the people that were walking heard the one shot looked and then they took off. But this is how it is. It doesn't matter where it's at. In Queens, Brooklyn, Harlem, Midtown, Manhattan, 42nd Street, Town Square, Uptown, the Bronx, the Boogie, you know what I mean? Chi-Town, Atlanta, these motherfuckers are doing it all across the country. The more we go day by day, the more cowardly acts happen. There's no men growing up in these days that want to fight. Everybody want to shoot you. Nobody wants to fix a problem. They want to make something so small, blow it out of proportion. So people are starting to get killed. People are getting caught for killing somebody over the stupidest shit. Now, you murder somebody, you ruin one family. You ruin the family. Because now everybody's crying. They hurt. Morning. Now you, you get caught because there's so many damn cameras in New York. You're gonna get fucking caught. So now you go to jail and say that you say you have kids, right? Now who's gonna raise your fucking kids? You're gonna have some other man come in and raise kids that ain't his and probably not give a shit about your kids. Y'all youngsters gotta think, man. Let's break the cycle. Let's not continue the cycle because this shit is crazy. Youngsters killing youngsters over nothing. You motherfuckers are down the block shooting at somebody when there's all kind of people. Now that doesn't even make no sense. Because 90% of the time when you're shooting into a crowd, you're not going to hit the person you're trying to hit. You're going to hit everybody but that person. And guess what happened? An older lady, minding her business, taking the bus, probably trying to get home, gets shot. Gets fucking shot. Hopefully the lady lives. I don't know if she's in stable condition. I don't know if she's in critical condition. But she shouldn't be in no condition. She should be at the house unpacking her groceries. That's what she should really be doing. Seeing her grandkids, seeing her kids, seeing her, seeing, seeing her husband, seeing her family, not laying up in a hospital with a bullet because some coward punk wanted, he shot through a door to shoot somebody across the fucking street. Pussy, puss, pu -pu 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 pussy, I smell pussy. This shit is out of control and I'm tired of making the videos, but guess what? I'm going to keep making them until they motherfucking march about violence with the youth. They want to march about everything else. They want to march about Palestine. They want to march about Ukraine. They want to march about fucking Trump going to fucking jail. They want to do everything. But you don't care about kids killing kids? That's not something worthy to have a conversation about? That's not worthy to stand up and say, hey... Why don't we focus on what's going on right here with our youth? Because this is the future. And our future is looking very fucking dim right now. I'm telling you that now, but everybody wants to, oh, you want to shut down highways and bridges for wars way over there. But we got a war in our own backyard with our children killing each other. But nobody gives a fuck. Nobody wants to raise concern or raise an eyebrow. You won't see the shit on CNN, NBC, none of that shit. You might get a, a minute and 30 on a local news to tell you that this is happening. When this is a major problem. One of the biggest problems we have besides homelessness is youth violence. Kids getting killed. Kids killing kids. Kids killing adults. Kids just wilding the fuck out. But nobody wants to raise an eyebrow to that. They want to turn the fucking cheek. Acting like it's not happening or act like it's no big fucking deal. But guess what? It's not a big deal to one of your kids get killed. 
one of your kids kill somebody and get locked up. Oh, now you want to raise awareness. But all the other times you didn't give a shit. That's how people are. They don't give a fuck until it happens to a hit home. I don't want it to hit home. I want to talk about this now so we can stop it before it reaches somebody's home and ruins your whole life. When your kid gets t taken away in fucking handcuffs or taken away in a fucking body bag. Let's talk about it. Or no, you want me to zip it up, huh? You want me to talk about Palestine and motherfucking Ukraine and Russia and Trump's court date and Puff Daddy. Who gives a fuck about all this shit? This doesn't matter. We knew all the shit with Puff Daddy and Trump. And the war is going to be a war. But we want to send money way over there. When we don't even want to house the people who are homeless here. We ain't trying to... Built hospitals for people with mental illnesses. We just want to say, oh, well, they're mental ill and they don't know no better. So it's okay for them to slash a fucking 11-year-old girl in the fucking head. No, I'm not with that. I'm not with the bullshit. I'm with the realness. I'm with what's really going on. I'm in tune with reality. I'm not tripping on Puff Daddy running down the hallway in a towel. And that's all we're talking about now. When there's little kids getting killed and kids killing kids. That's what's really on the table for us to really open up and talk about. But nobody's talking about it. You want to know why? Because they don't give a fuck about kids. They'd rather worry about some Joe Schmo they never met. In Palestine, Ukraine, Russia, what's going on there? Take care of your home from before you worry about somebody else's country. Dead ass. There's always going to be war. There's been war since the beginning of time, and there's going to be war to the end of time. But our kids are only kids one time. Either they're going to get killed in the streets or go to jail for killing somebody in the streets because nobody is, is, is bringing awareness to this fucking problem. And they're like, Christ 17, why are you always talking about this shit? Because nobody else wants to fucking touch it. So I'm going to touch it. Somebody's got to say something until they bring awareness till somebody starts talking about it who has a big motherfucking platform. Where's the where's all the ball players? Where's the NFL players? Where's the motherfucking NBA players, the MLB players standing up? A lot of these guys come from the come from the hood. Nobody's standing up and talking about shit. And I think it's fucking pathetic. Every fucking time you turn on the TV, another kid's got killed. Another kid's got raped. Another kid's got put out for sex tra trafficking. Another kid's killed his parents. The fuck is going on here? This shit is crazy. And listen, I'm going to speak upon it because nobody else will. And I'm going to keep doing it. So with that being said, look forward to me keep talking about this shit. And so I hear somebody else start talking about it. And even when they do, I'll, I'll probably go harder so we can get this shit to people's ears so they can fucking hear the real deal and what's really going on in our backyards. Let's house the homeless. Let's fix the violence between kids. Let's fix the violence, period. <laughs> is that such a, like, is that such a bad thing? To talk about is the our future for our kids. Because listen, if we don't fix this shit now. <laughs> when these kids get our age, if they make it to get our age because they already killing each other. Gonna have such a fucked up future. All these kids is on fucking Percocets, lean, doing fucking drugs. And it's cool. In the music, ah, right, we popping a perk, we sliding. That shit ain't cool. That shit is fugazi. That shit fake and foul and stupid as fuck. You know what? Focus on getting money and staying alive and taking care of your kids. If you can take care of your kids and make sure your kid is successful, make sure you're successful, leave something for your kids so your kids can have something for their kids, your grandkids. 
Everybody want to be cool. Look at my chain. Look at my new shoes. Look at all the bitches I'm fucking. Look at my Percocets I'm popping. You sound like a fucking dope idiot. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to keep it 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Wow, you fucking idiots. With that being said, man, people open your eyes. Bam. And let's talk about the real deal. Kids violence. And let's make it right for our kids to have a fucking future. Instead of them going to be sick because they've been doing lean for two months and now they dope sick. Taking perks for three months and now they dope sick. <laughs> Now they can't get up in the fucking morning when they in pain. Ah, I'm sick. I, I need some lean. Oh, hey, you got some Percocets? How much? $20. Oh, fuck. This is my last 20. I'm hungry, but I'm sick. Here's the 20. I'm not going to eat because I'm sick. Fucking idiots. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Let me find it. Let me find it. It won't cost you a dime. And with that being said, man, the youth is the youth. That is our future. And if you're not going to help the youth, then what the fuck are you here for? I'll catch you on the flip side, player.